This is a V60 and I'm going to use it to demonstrate the short circuit protection. We have short circuit protection in the V39. We also have the short circuit protection in the V11. Basically in the event of a short circuit we don't want the cells inside discharging too rapidly and becoming damaged and we don't want it to damage um, anything that might be connected to it. So in the event that there's too much current being drawn from any of these systems there are some electronics that will disconnect the output. In fact it will turn off the battery altogether in some cases and you'll have to turn it back on either by pressing the power button here or by disconnecting and reconnecting the output. So I'm going to zoom in here. I have this battery set for 16 volts, like so, and I'm going to connect the output to our programmable load. What this programmable load allows us to do is set the resistance value between the two um, positive and negative leads, and we can monitor the current and power basically being pulled from the battery by this uh, resistance. So go ahead and turn it on. We'll start it off at 500, which is the maximum resistance that this thing will offer. And we see uh, about 33 milliamps and about half a, half a watt. So I'm gonna dial this down. And I'm using this little jog wheel to, to set the resistance. And we should be getting close to that critical cutoff point really soon. And there it is. So we saw at about 4.7 amps this battery shuts down. That's our little alarm. And, um, yep, battery's off. With these batteries, in order to reset, we have to reconnect the power source to the input. I have that coming from my programmable supply. And uh, we have the battery charging now. And we should be able to reconnect the output. Turn it on, 16 volts and we're reset and ready to go. All right, so that's a demonstration of short circuit protection.